Ben the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today, I'm at the Luxor in Las Vegas, and I'm inside their public house. It is a sports-themed restaurant and bar, and oh boy, dude, they got sports. They got maybe like a dozen monitors at least, some really huge, maybe like 10 feet wide, and several sports being shown at one time. And the place is full of sports fans. When I was waiting for the table outside, I keep noticing like all this like group cheering, you know, when certain team scores a certain point or something. They went, huzzah! Okay, maybe not huzzah, but you know what I mean. They, they were cheering pretty loudly. So this is a place for you if you enjoy sports. Now that being said, I do not enjoy sports. As a matter of fact, I hate sports. Why is that? Well, it's a deeply rooted psychological issue, all right? Because when I was a kid, right? Back then, okay? Now you young people, all right? You got a maid, you got a screen in every pocket. But back then, right? There's only one television in the house. One, one television. And it's one of those small, really thick ones and everything like that. And you know, the resolution wasn't even that great. But, you know, they had cartoons on there. And of course, I would be watching the cartoons. Then comes my dad, click sports. Sports, guys, you know. And it's not just like once or twice, it's all the time, right? Can you imagine like what, ki what kind of like psychological trauma, you know, a kid can develop because of these like, disgusting sports, all right? Now, not only that, sometimes I either wake up or come home and the sports will already be on the television. That's terrible, guys. You know, won't even get a chance to watch a little bit of cartoon before being sapped away into the land of disappointment. So, guys, have you been a victim of sports? Put it in the comments below. Oh, and, and by the way, you're probably thinking like, Danny the Medic, if you don't like sports so much, then why the F are you at a sports bar? Well, it's because I'm extremely cheap. I got a 20 off coupon you know, on a purchase of $40 here at the public house. So, I know, like, there are certain things I would tolerate if it's cheap enough. Welcome to my channel. So I'm looking at the menu and, of course, you know, there's a sports type place. So you got your chicken wings and tenders, burgers, sandwiches. You know, they also have some uh, chef specialties. We got the fish and chips, ribeye steak, and BBQ ribs. All right. Now they do have a do it in public challenge where they give you about four double burgers and a load of fries and a milkshake. And if you can eat it all in half an hour, that's free. I will not be doing that, guys. I value my life. Then I will just simply have your fish and chips and the tuna poke nachos, right? I'm just, you know, this is a brief lunch and then uh, I'll go move on and meet my friend Lily, who is uh, one of those like concert fanatics or something, right? She's the type of person that would go to the concert venue early, very early guys, to line up so she can be in the front of the stage standing there, standing. Now, concerts is another thing I don't like. I'd rather just watch it from the comfort of my own home or something, you know, but and that's what she's into. She's currently in line at the Planet of Hollywood, and she's trying to rush me over there, you know, because I said I'm gonna bring her some Starbucks and we can, you know, catch up a little bit. And she's messaging me on my watch, you know, and, uh, wow. Anyway, she's really piling on the pressure. So I'm gonna eat fast on this one. Sorry, Lily. All right, guys, this is the Poke Nachos. As you can see, it got like a uh, raw tuna on it, some uh, peppers and green things, and it's over nachos. I believe it also has some cheese sauce too. Now over here is the fish and chips. All right, let's eat. It smells wonderful. Kind of smells like a uh, soy sauce. Oh wow, it's very tasty, guys. Mm. 
It's really good. It's like sushi on nachos. Such a, a unique flavor. I'm going to have to give this a nine. Chip. Yes, the rodeo is in town. A seven for the chips. That's a big piece of fish. I do like the fish. It's pretty good. I'll give it a 8.2. Now I'm gonna put some ketchup on it and probably gonna to jump to a easy 8.5. Mmm. Nine. It went to a nine guys. So good, so good. All right. So, oh, tartar sauce. It's delicious, guys. All right, I'm gonna call this the end of the video because Lily's waiting, so I'm gonna hurry up and eat this and get the heck out of here. All right, take it easy.